Sigurd, Eivor, before you say more, I must tell you something. Randvi and I have, uh, have ended our marriage. I am sorry to hear that. Ah, do not be. We adore one another dearly, but our marriage was not built on love. We were brought together as an act of peace. I was pledged to her well before I knew her. And though we have tried to settle our differences and find love in our faults, it has not worked out. And so we have dissolved our bond. Yet as a clan, we will grow together. Then I'm glad for you both, and for the rest of us. This place would not be the same without you two. Good day! I want to see the Alliance map. Hamptonshire, the last Saxon stronghold. And very heavily guarded. King Alfred is preparing for war. You will meet tremendous resistance. As will Alfred. Is Guthrum Jarl there with his army? He is. He and Oba have gathered a sizable force and intend on launching an attack on Alfred soon. If we support their assault, England will fall to us. A pagan land where a multitude of gods may freely roam. I will go to Hamptonshire and speak with Guthrum. Send word to our allies to gather in the Thames just outside the Shire. I will. May the gods share in this, our final victory. What is it? Eivor, you must not go. You must not. The signs, the portents, they shout and veil. Your leaving will be our doom. Speak clearly, Volka. What have you seen? I have thrown the bones, I have stared the offal of beasts, and in the rising steam I saw the end of it all! Though this battle you may win, this war you will not. Your foe will be your master, your hope will be your grief. This is fate. Our fate. I thank you for this, Valka, but the yarns of fate are too frayed for me to follow now. I owe this fight to my friends and allies, and I will see it through. Go then. With great care. But know that the home you leave will not be the home to which you return. Ah. Eivor, you come at Guthrum's call. It is good to see you. And you, Soma. There's an uneasy peace here. Both armies with their hackles up. Was blood spilled? No. We took Werum without resistance. These Saxons accompany their lord as we stand beside Guthrum. So this fort is not the sum of his ambitions. Guthrum's plan is to bring the Saxons to the table. If he can win the peace without a fight, he will do so. And how likely is that? Just now they sit on their thumbs in the church, talking in circles. Come, I will take you to him. Who is Guthrum meeting here? Is it Alfred? That's right. The King of the West Saxons has agreed to negotiate. Seems we have him on the back foot. Guthrum should be careful. Alfred speaks with Loki's tongue. Guthrum is not a babe at teat, Eivor. Nor is Alfred. If he has come, it is for his own advantage. Then give us counsel. Stand by Guthrum, show our strength. The King of Hayseeds will soon be humbled, trust me. We took this town as if it were a straw hole. Do not challenge me, Elf King. Your show of swagger and strength has my attention, Guthrum. But we agreed on terms. What more do you want? The crown of Wessex. Wessex has a king. And that king has the backing of the Almighty. Yours is a fever dream, Dane. We need not ask for it, Goodwin. We will take it. As we have taken all the kingdoms of England. Ah, Eivor. Our blunted tool returns, Lord. I have given you all I care to. 
A Dane geld to leave Wareham. You swore an oath upon the cross and that pagan hammer. And when you scurry back to whatever shit-soaked hovel you crawled from, we will release your men. Speak again, handmaid, and I will feed your tongue to Avos Raven. A fair trade. We already have your cock. Are we done with this pissing contest? If Guthrum has given you his word, then he will honor it. We will leave this town. You have one day. Do not test the King's patience further, or our men will return to Wareham with force. And if you doubt my conviction, know that the Avon River near Uffentune runs red with the blood of your countrymen. Their commander, what did his men cry as he fell? Ula? Uba? Yes, that was it. Remember, you have taken my silver. In return, I expect your honor. I will await news of your retreat in Chippenham. Uber dead? It cannot be! Gods, I will tear that Saxon skin from his bones if this is true! Alfred hisses with a snake tongue, but he gains nothing from this lie. When news of this spreads through the camp, no Saxon will survive the day. You swore upon the cross. Oh, I have no intention of cowing to that milk sack. Now more than ever, I will take his throne and his head. In Winchester, Alfred used me as a tool and cast me aside. So let the betrayer be betrayed. We'll burn this village to the ground. After that, we take care of Alfred. Burn Wareham to the ground! Make it a Saxon pyre! Have... Payment for those warriors they have sent to Valhalla! Their bones to dust! Our gods have spoken with war and wit. This is our England now. Set where am ablaze! Need fire after cool fire and flame. Burn it all. My blood needs fire after cooling in this sudden field. You'll burn in hell, traitorous scum. I will feast on your marrow in my honor. Let vengeance spare your swords. Leave nothing standing. Prayers go unanswered this day. We should find Soma. Stand firm all! Do not lose your...
your nerve! This place is routed, Soma. Good work. We leave now. There are forest ruins just east of here, along the road. Come on, men! Move! We can rest here a moment. Now, tell me what you know of that Breaker of Rings. Weak and wretched troll. Alfred is a wily fox. He appears frail, but draws upon an inner strength. He will not be easy to oust. Fury will fuel my army and my claim. It will not be enough. You must find a weakness. Yes. That is why I called you here. Do you balk at the opportunity to bury the Saxon King? I must first hear a plan to balk at. Alfred spoke of Chippenham, a squat hovel of sheep and peasants. So why does he go there, and not to Winchester? Your scouts must know, they're the best in England. A holiday feast, their Saxon Christ Mass. Alfred will warm his heels by the fire, while Uber lies cold in an English field. I have called upon my allies to join us in this fight, but I must know where to send them. Is Chippenham our final prize? It is. But uh, I will need my men for the coming fight as well. The hostages Alfred took, if there is a chance to save them? We will not lose more friends today. Where are they held? A place further ahead through this forest. They call it Hampton Blockade. Soma, ride north to the Thames and lead my allies south. They should be gathered by now. I will. Gather on the river passing Chippenham. The rest of you set up camp there. I called you Raven Feeder once. At Porchester, you are as hot-headed as Thor. You have become a true leader, Eivor. As much to come, Guthrum, before we can rest with mead in our hands and songs in our ears. I will crush Alfred's skull with my bare hands if Uba is dead. We cannot dwell on this, even if it's true. If you want the throne, only strategy will deliver it. Oh, bloody wrath. A wise man once told me, we do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. If we arrive unexpected, strike swift. You turn my words against me now, Wolfkist. I took them too hard in my darkest times, my friend. And Sigurd? He is back with you? My brother's story is a long one, and for another time. Ridding the land of a strong ruler will make Wessex harder to tame. You always sound like you respect him, Ivar. I've come to understand the trials of leadership, Guthrum. It is hard not to, when you cradle something as fragile as life within your hands. There. This is the blockade. The hostages must be in these buildings. What's your plan? Oh. quietly, so it ah. Go in the zoo! Tread quietly so as not to let the guards. I can rate this place in a moment, my crew. I will follow your lead. Enough skulking!
Enough skulking. These Texans do not deserve compassion. I will wash my blade in their blood. I told you, Guthrum, wouldn't leave us here to rot. Go to the camp near Chippenham. Find your countrymen there. We're done here. Come on! For the insults they have on us. Guthrum, some of your men. There's a camp set up north by Chippenham. Go there. As long as I can cut some Saxons down, I don't care where we face them. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Guthrum's men. Aye, free us and we will fight by your side. My thanks. God's favor you. Every Saxon is bad at me. You will have your chance, but don't be foolhardy. Let your steps take you far from here to a camp near Chippenham. Thank you, Eivor. You did a great deed. Their families will raise a cup to you. I need no thanks, Guthrum. Let us speak more when we are safely away. We're safe here. Let us speak, Guthrum. You should join your people at the camp. Even a surprise takes preparation. Your bravery? Your leadership, Eivor? You wear it well. You have grown much since last we spoke. You judged me fairly, Guthrum. Harsh, though your words were. But I do not make the same mistake twice. How is your brother, Sigurd? He lives. A changed man. But he is free of full case torment. That at least was a deed well done. Will this all be worth it in the end? Everything we have done? Everything we have sacrificed to win this land? Sometimes I dream of soothed black furrowed earth. And blood seeping from seedlings, poisoning our future. We must believe our way of life will survive. Our fates are woven, but our deeds forge our destiny. Ah, and so to our final battle. We will wait for you at the camp. Even scan the battlefield. Near the Avon River at Athenjil. This was where Alfred sent the battle with Upper to take place. <laughs> Upper. So Alfred spoke true. May you join your brother, old friend, wherever he found his final peace. Rest well, my friend.
Hold on. Good. What's got into you? We all... There you are, Raven. Lufthina, my old friend. And I see you have convinced your husband to stumble southwards. I couldn't let her carve all the glory for herself. Lufthina was just boasting of her heroics in Sussex. She took the fort single-handed, while the rest of us sat back and sipped meat. You should have seen her. <laughs> I have come to make sure my warrior wife's enthusiasm for battle does not get her slaughtered. Have you ever met a woman less in need of a guardian than me, Eivor? You will have one nonetheless. You owe Eivor a lot, my love. I know, I know. And this last of Ray, I hope the death will be cleared. I long to return home to our own warm hearth. Eivor! It's good to see you. Erke and Stowe, I released you from your debt, and yet... You came. London is quiet enough, and Stow here felt the sharp stab of conscience. Could not let you down, Eivor. That's not what an honorable man does. So here I am, despite my reservations. And you, Broder. I did not think you would be here either. I have seen to my brother. Sent him to Valhalla with grave goods. I am done with sorrow, Eivor. Now I am bloody angry. In here, stand tall. A light heart lifts all those around them. Ah, Eivor! Who would not be joyous, reaving at your side? And how do you feel about bringing sorrow to the Saxons on their holy day? It darkens my mood. I have learned some of the Christ Lord's teachings. He preaches peace where our gods delight in battle. Let their delights be ours, then. We have many battles to wage before the end. And I will be beside you for them all. My axe ready, and my heart stout. Tefta, it is good to see you. I gave you my word. Besides, Alfred's faith is strict, and he has no love for pagans. You have changed much from that guard-whipped boy. That is good to see. I was always him, but my faith was like a veil. I am glad you helped me lift it. And now another education. You'll see how we Norse bads fight. I am all a-quiver with anticipation. You soft-cheeked. Look, you Saxon bedwetters. Here is a real warrior. Billy, what tales are you weaving for these surf down Saxons? Do not make me regret supporting your yaldum. Favor. You know I will take your childhood scrapes and secrets to the pyre. Good. I would hate for something to happen to you in the coming fight. Ha! Such fiendish ribaldry between you two. You laugh in the face of fear. Tweak old man death's beard. I will do my mother and my lord proud today, Eivor. The lord knows I have not been the best of sons. Good to see your spirits high. Fight well, my friends, and we'll feast together in victory. You soft-cheeked Anglo boys. Have you brought your... Giedrich. After Rochester, I was not sure you would come again. I've chosen my side. Who would sooner bet a hog than allow Alfred to pillage the land of love? Guthrum will trample Alfred's ambitions like weeds in the dirt. Mercia might rise further yet. <laughs> Perhaps I shall one day sit upon the throne of all England. King Giedrich the drunken ass. <laughs> I'll raise a cup to that. Have you brought your mothers with you? My mother? They are love. You have come again at my call. I have. But this does not sit well with me, Eivor. This is a Christian feast, and the people here are not soldiers. I come only for Alfred. Innocents will die for your ambitions. I am your ally now, but after this, I must turn back to Mercia. I have much to repent. So long as I do not lose your friendship, your oath will be fulfilled. Is worth ten of your men. I do not doubt it. I have seen those strong Saxon hens clucking round the hearth as you farmers play with your cocks. Ha! And she'd welcome you in Colchester, Billy. <laughs> Better than those sour-lipped thanes who haunt our hall. Eivor, you made it unscathed. They came. 
from all over England. I never thought it possible, Eivor, that you would rally Saxons and Norse under your black-feathered banner. They see the tyranny of this elf king. He would crush them all under heel and plug their hearts with his god. So what is the plan, Eivor? When is their feast day? A few nights from now, but their revelry has already begun. We should attack now. That is unwise. Soldiers pace the paths of the village. Then the night of the feast, under cover of darkness. That is when we will strike. Uba will not have died in vain. We await your instructions, Eivor. Let us plan our approach. But whatever happens, Alfred is mine. They are not expecting us. We should not meet much resistance on the way. Then quietly through the fields. It will already be too late once they see us. Your young Saxons can be our eyes to the west. Better to keep their soft hands away from the conflict. My scouts reported that a few nobles have arrived for the festivities already. Good. If we capture the Thanes, there will be no danger when I confront Alfred. And we could persuade them to support a new king of Wessex. I will subdue the lords. Take Deolaf and Tefta with you. They could prove useful in convincing the Thanes. Rhoda? Take Edkin Stowe and capture the garrison. Make quick work of any Saxons that dare cross into the village. <laughs> Gladly, Eivor. We each know our parts. May they blunt their swords against our might. Tonight, Wessex's last resistance will crumble. I follow you, Eivor. And I. Be ravening wolves and croaking ravens. Stand firm, your axe arms strong, and together, we will win this final battle. And remember, Alfred is mine. Soma, with me. Everyone else, go quickly to the village. Advance! Be on the lookout for any stray guards. Lufina, cure! Keep a strong flank! Get to the village and wait for my signal. Best raise my hood here. Let's smoke the rat out of his guard's house! Spare the last of Wessex my torch! Did you think my king would turn his back on you, Eivor? When your knife is smeared with the blood of Werum? Stand aside, Goodwin. I come for Alfred. Alfred is long gone. And this good Christian feast, a cup of honey wine, to trap some wasps. Where is he? Calling his allies to his side. All those who wish to see Wessex under one god. Cannot win England with your sorry crew of deluded farmers and godless fools. At least I wouldn't leave them to die as I scurried through the corn husks like a rat. You have no understanding of duty, the loyalty I freely give. His plan for England, for the world, is worth the cost of my life. 
Then sing your tuneless hymns. Come, Raven Feeder. Do your worst. I have no fear of death, for this battle is only the beginning. Only darkness will come to claim you. Beaten, Goodwin. Beaten? No, not so. By my death, my lord may live. Alfred used you, fool. He threw you in my path. For what? He only delays what is inevitable. Kill me then. It makes no odds. For here you stand, bloody and breathless, no closer to my king, no closer to his throne. This island will never be your home, Eivor. You will not subdue her with vicious force or win her with cocksure words. We Saxons will always stand firm, shoulder by shoulder against thieves and tyrants whose envious eyes fall upon England. No, I will use you as you used me. A few hours in the company of my men, and you will lead us to your Sparrow King. That I cannot allow. <laughs> Fighting with the rest! These men will not surrender! <laughs> Ha! 
open and will not fall to you, scum! Stop right there. God grant me strength! <clears throat> You will regret this oh, unholy interruption! Baby, me, I'm no good to you! Good work, Guthrum. I hope the rest are bad as well. Did you see Alfred? No, but your Saxon boys were ambushed. One day's wounded. Hold these men back! I'll fight them! Oh, 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 oh. Bunwald! Come, get up! This is no time for weep wailing! I. I cannot. And there is a blackness closing in around my eyes. It frightens me. Forgive me, Humwald. I should have been quicker. No. No. You were my staunch protector, Ellerich. Eivor. Have you seen graver wounds? I will carry him from the fray to that farmhouse there. I will get you to safety, Humwald. Stay calm. Walt, listen to me. You survived the Battle of Bottlestone. Do not let this scratch best you now. I'm so cold. Has winter come so soon? You will warm yourself with mead and dancing yet, my friend. Perhaps not, Ava. It may be I will sit beside my father soon. Will he be proud of me? He will pull you to his breast, sob bright words of welcome, and until you no man ever had a worthier son. I am glad to have known you, Eivor. My truest. Nothing more. I need to see if Broda has taken the garrison. from the inside. We 
have this. Make sure the garrison stays under our control. I need to help the others. The city is ours! Wessex will follow! Good from y'all. We are not without losses. Some of them grave. Their king is fled. His patsy struck down. Defeat rings loud in their ears, and I will be their lord before the spring is here. Good from hear me. Soma is. She's gone. Soma? Dead? She has gone to the Endless Feast, and she is the better for it. I must speak to those still living. Lufina. Gods, I... I did not know. Is, is he...? Hush. What good can words do, Havor? Keep to silence. He is gone. For what days I was given to spend with you. For each breath that carried your sweet whispers. I give thanks. No more. Your fingers in my hair. No more your arms around my waist. The days will be cold hereafter. All color dimmed. Goodbye, my only one. My heart ends with you. What is left will 
go on. Your first battle, Elleritch. You fought well and with honor. Is this the glory you deign seek? You can keep it. I saw Hoonwald die. The light dim in his eyes. That could have been me. You will never be the same. But you will be stronger for it. I have wasted so much time in pouting like a child. No more, Eivor. No more. Do you think there will come a day when winning will not be enough? Well, you can always fight with me if you want to taste crushing and loin-soiling defeat. My very presence would make that impossible. Enjoy this victory, Eivor, wherever it brings you. Only a coward thinks he'll live forever. My thanks, though. You came to my aid when you were free to turn away. And still it breaks my heart to look upon what we've done today. Was it the right choice? I do not know. But it is done now. If Alfred had his way, there would never be friendship between Norse and Saxon. You fought for peace. Be proud of that. I wish I could. And in time, perhaps I will. Erke, you wear a furrowed brow. Stow is taking matters hard. You know how sensitive he is. A man of faith and stout morals. Small wonder he is tormented. His support for you has taxed him hard. I will take him back to London. Maybe he will find some comfort there. You are his comfort, Erke. Not the city you watch. He is in good hands. You're not injured, Tefta. Bruises, that is all. I've taken the Lord into my heart, and he watched over my sorry bones. Those who fell sit beside him now. And what of my heathen friends? I used to believe in damnation for all who turned from his light. But there is a wondrous communion in friendship honored. Even though your godson preaches peace. And we shall do that, Christians and pagans, side by side. Never persecuted. Your Christ would smile at that, I think. Your Freya would too. He shall come to judge the living and the dead. Deolaf, Gidrich, there's a solemn air about you. To disturb such holy revels with blood and murder. I fear God may never forgive me for this. Had your guard taken Alfred's side, we would not have won. So it may be you did his work after all. Alfred still lives. And now I am twice his enemy. Give me one more fight, and I will gladly make it a third. He is defanged and of little threat to us now. That slippery eel may yet surprise you. Atonement is a long and lonely path, and I must soon leave to take my first steps upon it. Your debts to me are paid. I wish you well on your journeys. Done, Brodia. You fought well. I saw him, Havor. In my darkest moment, Brothir stood beside me, and all was as it used to be. And then the battle ended. I feel him no longer. There will be other battles. Aye. And there you'll find me, Havor. In amongst the blood and death, Brothir at my shoulder. Until the Valkyries claim me. You have given me more than I would ever have asked for. How will I repay it? Keep him in your thoughts. For when a man is mourned, his deeds cheered and his songs sung, he cannot die. My heart is heavy. Many fought for us and died. They deserve peace. Are you ready to honor them? Yes. There's nothing more to say.
Time to send our friends to their great reward. Will you do the honors? Nothing awaits them. They lived, they died. And now their bodies will burn to cinders. Their saga ends here. Well, do not share that with them. Victory is ours. But it came at a great cost. Soma Yalskona, who stood at Guthrum's right hand. She will live on in our memories, from now to the end of days. And to Hjor, warrior, husband, and a friend, he made the ultimate sacrifice. I here repay it. And to Humboldt, whose kind heart has now led him to his father's side. May his God welcome him with open arms. Let us send them on their way. All our beloved dead, our fallen warriors, and speed them to their end. Guthrum. When the Reeve died, did he take comfort in knowing he would soon see his god? He was strangely peaceful in the end, as if death meant nothing. We stumble through our years, ravenous, grasping, spilling blood, stealing gold, and it is never enough. This life is never enough. Would it not suit you to know there is something beyond all this? Not war and valor, but quiet and peace. I think... I think the afterlife men hope for is only a reflection of their regret in this life. All I wish for now is to live among the friends I've made. That is what counts. Alfred made me swear fealty upon the cross of their god's son. He held such faith in it, a plain, unadorned thing. It burned between my fingers, as if I had pulled it from the fire. A feeling strange and powerful, but gone in an instant. I have not felt its like before. What will you do now? Whatever I must do. England is my final home, Eivor. And I will do what it takes to remain. I should return to Swanborough and tell her of Unwald's fate. Better the news comes from me than a stranger. This time, I am going to do it. This time. You pace about like a dog afraid of a beating. What troubles you? Oh, stranger. Here's a tale. I love Eveland, a hunter's daughter. But the hunter's a fearsome fellow. Set me a task, he did. There's an arrow stuck in that tree above that the hunter once fired there. Before any man can have Etherland, they need to climb up and get it. Many suitors have tried. All failed. Looks like child's play to me. Maybe I can help. Oh, you do mean to help me. 
God bless you. the arrow proof of your boundless courage oh thank you stranger i'll name our firstborn in your honor swear i will uh what is your name avor avor eh huh well maybe just something that rhymes with it then would that do i found the other suitors a lynx had made its lair up there a hunter like etherlin's father would have known that oh surely an innocent mistake but I must bring him the arrow. He'll be so pleased someone's got it at last. I am sure her father will be thrilled. Don't you get tired of all that yelling? Welcome, heathen. Praise God who has brought you here to join us. My ship is not steered by your god. Cease your blasphemy! You have been summoned by God to be baptized. Submit or pay the price. And how do you plan to make me? Faith is our weapon, and the only one we need. Your threats aren't worth the breath of my arse. We'll see about that. Faith! Cleanse this pagan scum! Die at the hands of faith! Think twice now. I won't be dying today. Goodbye. The only good heretic is a very dead heretic! Are you so keen to meet your god? Is that the best your god can give? <laughs> People will worship anyone these days. Faith! Faith! Oh, you monster! How could you? She was so sweet, gentle, and delicate. Great. Now I have to find someone else to tell me what to do. <laughs> no! <laughs> what happened here? And what befell the driver? Your gratitude is touching. Gratitude? That was my prize-fighting bear you killed. How am I supposed to make my living now? It is thanks to me that you are living at all. Oh, thank you, your majesty. Please accept my eternal loyalty for condemning me to abject poverty. You're welcome. Enjoy life as a beggar. You've ruined me, and you don't care. No one cares. What a world! What a world! Maybe pick a smaller animal to abuse next time. Farewell. How am I going to feed the children now that my bear is dead? Where are you hiding now? <laughs> You seem distressed. So would you be, if your every crop of turnips was demolished by a horde of mangy horrors? I assume you mean the rabbits in that field. Aye, them. Then out but rats with ears stuck on. 
I'd slay him if I could, but they're too damn fast. When I catch him, I'll impale you. Maybe send you to bunny hell. Go on, nail those bow-tailed little shits. That's right, get in there and push the little bunny heads in. Three less pesky, vermin bastards in the world. Yes, that's what you get for eating my turnips, you buck-tooth fucking apes. Again. Oh, my babies! They're not to play. How could you? You've gone too far this time, wife! Hey, June. Play it again, Saxon. <laughs> the Lord me. You there, Dane! Come join your fellows. Music is my gift to you all. Here's a merry gathering. A Saxon playing for Norsemen. What joy a man gives is given back threefold. So my love used to say, dear Chiro. I sing now for her. Used to. Used to. But now is no time for sadness. Join our revels. I was about to open a cask for my new friends. Come one, come all. Nothing heals the heart of woe like a mug of ale. Who laughs at their brew like a kitten? Wrong. Thor himself pales when he sees me take up my drinking horn. Come and prove it then. Show me how the Raven Clan drink. You'll be under the table before I have even warmed up. Oh, -ho! we'll see about this. spreading through me. This is poisoned ale. Oh, feels like Jormungandr is turning in my stomach. Why, Odin, this new ale is strong. A hundred lives, I, think I'm going I promised my love as she lay dying. A Danish arrow in her breast. A hundred lives for hers. But there is one who has not been laid low. Let me see to that. Ah, oh, God, my head! I'll grant you the long piece of the grave! You will die as my hero did! It won't be me that dies today.
This kitty had claws. That fur looks warm. It's a fine day, Eivor. Thor's testicles. What is happening over there? Eivor? Swanbro, I... No. Gods, no. Don't say it, please, Eivor. Don't say it. I am sorry. Oh! My own one. No! My poor swan! Oh, gods! He fought bravely, and turned the tide to secure victory. Your dear Hunwald died a hero, and will be so remembered. Oh, gods. I know he would have fainted to hear such praise from your lips. Thank you, Eivor. Thank you. He walks among warriors now. Yes. The lucky man. I imagine he does. I know words are poor salve for a wounded heart. I will leave you to mourn, and know that we are here for you, always, should you need us. Good to see you. Hampton Shire has fallen, and with it the Kingdom of Wessex. But the cost was great. Maybe too great for all we gained. Rest then. You have earned it. On the backs of so many. Time will tell if it was worth it. Remember what we spoke of, Ranvi? Matters of the heart? Yes. The time was not right for us then. But it is now. I want this. I want you. I care for you, Ranvi. I do not know how to say it any other way. Then do not say it. Show me. I'm a quick study. It could take a lifetime. Then we had best start now. Should we take this to your chamber? Hmm. No need. <laughs> 